investors. This is Mark de Mezel. Why Bitcoin is a no-brainer for me is because so many people know about Bitcoin today. Bitcoin today having gone up to $1,200 and corrected to around $450 today. Um, will it go up? Well, yes, uh, chances are very high. Uh, I estimate 95% that it will go up a lot in the near future, meaning over the next year. Um, why do I uh, think that? Because uh, so many people know about Bitcoin, it's just uh, unbelievable. Um, for example, uh, this week there are two Bitcoin congresses in Amsterdam, uh, the Netherlands, uh, one organized by the Bitcoin Foundation, nothing new about that. But the other one is organized by the big banks uh, of the Netherlands, being ING and ABN AMRO. And they call this Bitcoin Congress, they call it the National Bitcoin Congress, where they invite uh, politicians and big bankers, uh, as well as uh, the, uh, uh, to listen to uh, uh, anarcho-capitalistic uh, spe uh, Bitcoin speakers, uh, such as... Um, uh, Trace Meyer and Tuur de Meester um, uh, to talk, to learn them about Bitcoin. Um, this is just uh, unbelievable, in my opinion. Um, I mean, for me it's unbelievable because it happens so soon um, uh, that I, big banks start to embrace Bitcoin. Uh, it's certainly not globally. Eh? In China, they are clamping down on Bitcoin. They want to, they try to uh, smoke it. But uh, and in the U.S., big banks are still uh, rejecting. Uh, some big banks are still um, rejecting customers that uh, that uh, do business uh, deal in Bitcoin. But in Europe, uh, it seems to be that uh, at least in the Netherlands, that the big banks are going for it. So, but of course, they are uh, not the only ones. Uh, the the people like uh, Mark Andreessen uh, from uh, the the, 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 the original founder of Netscape, uh, Richard Branson, uh, um, uh, Yahoo top CEOs, uh, Overstock top CEOs. I mean, they are all promoting Bitcoin or accepting Bitcoin with their companies. Um, but uh, most of all, if you ask about Bitcoin to people in the financial world, almost everybody knows about Bitcoin. Compare that to the market capitalization of Bitcoin, which is now five billion dollars. That's really nothing. Uh, it's absolutely nothing. Um, uh, so, um, for example, ING, uh, the bank that organizes the Bitcoin Congress in the Netherlands uh, this week, um, they have uh, 1,300 billion euros to invest. Uh, that's their own I, the money from their customers, uh, that's their balance sheet, 1,300 billion. The market cap of Bitcoin being 5 billion, actually in euros it's now 4 billion or 3 billion. Uh, compare that only to ING and the amount of capital they, they have to invest, it's ridiculous. But of course ING is not going to invest in Bitcoin next week with customer funds. But uh, the, 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 if ING organizes a, a Bitcoin Congress, that means that their top executives, uh, millionaires, uh, and some of them probably um, close to billionaires, uh, are bullish, hmm? meaning they buy themselves or will start to buy. Um, and so it is the case for many other uh, smart, rich uh, people. Um, uh, they are buying in. Sure, the price has gone down from $1,200 to currently $450. Um, uh, but as I've said before, if something goes up from 100 to 1000, you get a correction to 500. Uh, that is uh, more normal. Uh, and um, so um, I think it is uh, an almost a certainty that Bitcoin will go up a lot simply because so many people know about it. So much, so much capital, capital knows about it. And uh, many of them are tipping their toes today, but the moment Bitcoin turns around and goes up again, they will uh, allocate money 
and that will be uh, the next bubble uh, pushing Bitcoin from $500 to likely $5,000, maybe 10000 after which it will correct again. Huh? Um, when will this happen? Likely this will happen this year, although it might not be 2014, it might also be 2015, but um, uh, can you risk not to be in? I don't think so. So uh, what I'm doing today is selling gold, gold that I bought at the end of last year with Bitcoin profits. I'm reselling again. Actually, I've sold already. My whole permanent portfolio is gone and is now into Bitcoin. Uh, I bought around $500 the past month. And now I'm also starting to liquidate my Roland Van Damme portfolio, which has gold and gold mining stocks. And uh, that also is going now into Bitcoin and also next, uh, which I will make a video about also. Um, um, <coughs> so uh, I was at 60% uh, Bitcoin at the start of the year. When I say Bitcoin, I mean cryptocurrencies. And next is also in that I have some Litecoin too, a very small position. Um, uh, but I have a big position in Next and Bitcoin. So at the, at the start of the year, I had around 60% in, in, in Bitcoin. Then Bitcoin dropped to, um, and actually I, I had 70%, but I sold around 10%, around uh, the price of $1,000. Uh, um, so I, had, I, I was left with around 60%. Then Bitcoin went down in price from, from 1000 to uh, about $500. So that 60% went down to around 40%. And then I have started buying again the past month. And uh, currently I'm back at 55% crypto. And um, when I have executed my plans, which is to sell more gold, and uh, uh, I will uh, bump it up from the current 55% to 70% crypto. Um, that will be 30% Bitcoin, 30% next and 10% uh, the DAC index, which is um, uh, an index from a distributed asset, um, oh, the, the abbreviation uh, I do not have correct, but basically it's a second generation cryptocurrencies that also support um, uh, decentralized asset exchanges. You have different uh, ones, next is one of them. You also have a uh, counterparty, uh, Mastercoin, uh, BitShares, and also Ripple. Uh, all of them uh, I am also going to invest in for a 10% uh, of my por total portfolio. Um, so 30% uh, Bitcoin, 30% Next, and 10% uh, the DAC index. That's a total allocation of 70%. Um, that's a lot. I've never been so high except when Bitcoin was peaking out at $1,200. Um, but uh, since it is all, I, in my opinion, very lowly priced and I am allocating 70% to it, I will be likely making a lot of uh, profits when Bitcoin go, goes up again. Of course, I will lose a lot too if Bitcoin ends up failing. That is still possible. Uh, that cryptos fail <laughs> uh, like Bitcoin and Next fails, uh, I think that is Theoretically possible, but not practically possible. Eh? There is always a chance, but the chance is so low that I could be struck by a meteorite also right now. But the chance is so low that I do not have to take that into account. And if it happens, well, I was really, really, really unlucky. Uh, but I cannot take that into account. And I think the same is true for failing of cryptocurrencies. All of them, I mean the most important ones, Bitcoin, as well as next, both of them failing. Um, I don't think that chance is um, is is is. Uh, I'm starting to uh, really uh, like the, uh, discount, uh, not take that into account anymore. That means that also I have changed my uh, way of thinking about my investments. I used to say also that I had taken out. Uh, uh, money from Bitcoin uh, that I will never invest again in Bitcoin so that if Bitcoin end, ends up failing I still am in profit I have got, got rid I got rid of that uh, way of thinking because well because of the reason I just mentioned uh, but also because I don't think it's a rational way to uh, invest the rational way to invest is to uh, uh, to invest your capital uh, based on the risk-reward ratio. 
Huh? And if something has only 1% chance to fail, uh, let's say 90% chance to succeed, then, and a 10% chance to fail, then you only need to allocate 10% to the failure. Huh? Not 50, not 60, 10. Huh? Uh, and you, you invest 90% in the thing that has a 90% chance of going up. It's called the Kelly method. Uh, uh, um, so for me that means that currently uh, I should be way, way over 50% of my portfolio should be in crypto uh, because um, uh, anything else, uh, because that's the chance of it going up. It's way more than 50%. Um, uh, that's my uh, uh, and so for example just recently I had uh, 38 almost 40 percent of my portfolio was invested in Roland van Damme and his gold and gold mining stocks simply because well uh, my crypto portfolio had gone down considerably uh, so that's why that portfolio uh, went up a lot I invested 30 percent but then it became 40 percent of my portfolio um, uh, also, my portfolio is today at a loss. In 2014, I lost a total of 20% or 22%. Um, so I am at a loss. Eh? But uh, indeed, gold and Roland van Damme, gold mining stocks, even though they did not go up themselves, uh, they went up at the start of the year, but then gave back all their profits. Um, uh, even though that didn't go up, it did go up in my portfolio. Uh, as a percentage because the other thing uh, went down so that's for me 40% uh, into gold and gold mining stocks is way too much uh, because uh, and only then uh, because I have other investments too I have uh, the Cypress stocks that's very low it's only 2% but um, I also have some cash uh, but uh, basically having only 55% in crypto I thought was too low hence why I sell uh, um, now 10% uh, of that uh, uh, why I uh, scale down from um, about 38% about to around 25% uh, to, for that gold portfolio and that all goes into crypto and if crypto goes down even more uh, say it uh, then, then I will probably do the same that means that if Bitcoin ends up failing I will lose a lot of money, um, but yeah, that's how it goes in the world of investing. Um, I'm going down with the ship. Um, yeah, uh, but of course I will continue to use my brains if uh, if uh, the ship is clearly going to sink then I will probably abandon ship too. Uh, but uh, we are not there with Bitcoin at all. Huh? Current prices are in line of a normal correction. So everything seems to be... Um, mm, right now, it's all within uh, expectations. And so um, uh, if Bitcoin would go down, say, from the current $550 to... I don't know, uh, less than 266, which was the previous all-time high. Um, um, before it went to 1,200, it was 266. Let's, if it would go below that, I would probably uh, uh, have a second look at this, because that means that I, I'm probably missing something, and maybe the ship is going down. But currently at 450, I have uh, expected this to happen, uh, warned about it. And um, the bottom was $350 um, a few weeks back. Um, but I think we've seen the bottom. I made a video two months ago where uh, I said the same and it hit $400 uh, right after the Mt. Gox uh, uh, disaster. Uh, and then it shot back to six, uh, 600 I made a video then thinking that the bottom ha was seen, so I was wrong. Eh? Uh, it went again down from that 600 to 350. So, um, but yeah, I also said that that was possible that it would uh, continue to uh, be low uh, or go down the next one month, the next month. And we're now two months further, so it has continued to go down. But that means that the extent, the duration of this Bitcoin correction is now uh, five months. Uh, six months um, since it started going down, uh, was it in November uh, or December uh, 2013, so yeah, the duration is, 
uh, also now um, um, equally long as all the other corrections have been uh, when it went down in uh, uh, in um, 2013 from $266 bottoming out at $50. It also took around four, five, six months uh, before it went up again. And uh, the same was true in the correction uh, in 2011 when it went down from $32 to bottom, bottoming out at $2. It was also after uh, four, five, six months after which it went up again. So. Um, um, I think that uh, for me it's time to buy. Um, I, I don't think uh, I should. Uh, the chances are high. I don't think chances are high that you will see um, uh, that we, you will, we will see prices below the three hundred fifty dollars. It may happen, uh, but the chances are not high. Uh, the chances are low, so I won't. I won't bet on that. I, I still have some capital left, but uh, uh, if that were to happen, but um, yeah. Um, um, I, I have uh, liquidated a lot of uh, fiat uh, in my whole permanent portfolio and now also starting to uh, sell a lot of gold uh, for Bitcoin and next um, because I strongly believe that uh, uh, this is uh, going to prove to be the right uh, decision. Um, can I say anything more about uh, Bitcoin? No, I do want to talk about next, uh, but I will make a new video uh, about that. So for, for, for me, Bitcoin, to summarize, is a no-brainer. Um, um, yeah, I think it's, um, uh, since the market capitalization is so low, only 5 billion, uh, compared to all other investments like gold, uh, you know, the value of gold is 7,000 a billion, eh? so not 5, but 7,000. Uh, but gold is absolutely not as important as Bitcoin, in my opinion. Uh, you look at stock markets, 50 billion on, only in the US, bond markets also to such an extent, saving accounts, like uh, real estate, uh, all these things, they are valued so high. It's, we talk about trillions, not billions, but thousands of billions, uh, each asset class. Um, so, so uh, it's not a question of uh, if will Bitcoin go up, but only when. Eh? And I think the when is now also in line. So, um, um, so yeah, but... Uh, as you see, that I will invest not more in Bitcoin than in Next, and uh, that my next video will be about that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, good luck. Talk to you again in the next video. Bye.